lesson we will learn how to create um, a primitive object and then add a modified polygon or edit poly modifier to it so that we can access the sub-object level which is the vertex, um, edge, triangle and polygons. So normally we will create um, a standard primitive such as a, a box Okay, and make sure that it has uh, more segments there so you can actually control it. So let's toggle the viewport, make it bigger. Now two ways we can do that. Um, one way is to directly convert it, right mouse click on it and convert it to a po editable poly but we may want to keep the box so let's not do that let's go to the modify panel and make sure it has a history okay in the modifier list we click on edit poly right and once that do that's done we can then select any of the sub object and pull and push vertices Okay, we can select two by pressing control or select four of them, pull them up, out. Okay. And we can also select just the, the triangle or the, poly, the polygon level. Okay. Now, the other way we can add to the polygon is to see this panel here, pull it up, and if you see an extrude there, click on it and click so that extrudes, right? You can extrude it a few times to create some more segments, okay? Even here, look, right? We can also extrude it the other way so we create okay something like uh, a concave okay same thing right we can also select a few parts and extrude them using the control key with the mouse okay so this is how you play with um, the sub object sub object level Okay, so let's delete that. Press the delete key. Now, what we're going to do now is to create, uh, using the sphere, a, a sort of a very primitive spaceship. So that's my sphere. I don't want so many segments, so let's make it more simple. Okay, maybe something like that. Okay. So we go back to the modifier panel and add and edit poly onto it. Okay? And we can pull and push vertices. Right. Now, you know, we are going to create half of a spaceship and mirror it to the other side. That's that makes it a little bit more simple. So what I do now is I select half of the sphere. Okay, make sure that they're all selected properly. That's an extra, actually. Uh, okay, I think I think there's a problem there. So let's remove that and see. Look, that's why we keep the sphere. Rather than thirteen, we have a fourteen segment. Okay, it's easier to select it in the front viewport. Right. And what we're going to do now is to delete that, the other half. Okay, and now we will mirror it using the mirror tool right here. Click on the mirror tool and make sure it's an instance. 
So whatever you do here will be mirrored onto the other instance rather than a copy. Okay. So with that selected, um, I want to edit this part. Okay. I'm going to squeeze it a little bit. Oh, sorry. Sorry, let's try that again. Okay, that's better. So let's squeeze it a little bit. Oh no. Okay. Now we will pull this up. Use the move tool to make some some sort of a a tail. Okay, select these two and go to the extrude panel. Okay, the other way is we can use a bevel. Okay, now let's make the, uh, the surface. Select three of that and pull it further. Okay. Now, um, with these two selected, I can then make a bevel H. better now right so let's make um, these objects the uh, the window so with the three polygons selected you can actually separate it into another object that's the detach function so you can attach new objects to it you can detach it so we can click that and that becomes a different object okay so that's this object and that object now we can actually delete that now and maybe mirror it later okay so that's the window the, for the window for now you know we can make it of a put it of a different color okay because we are going to cover texturing much later so with that selected we will now mirror it to make it a copy now. Okay, we will also mirror the window and make it a copy. Now, how do we join them together? Okay, make sure one object is selected and go to attach. Now you can attach the other object and it's attached. But look, the normal has been flipped. So what we can do is Let's go back to have a look at the smooth part. So let's select the other half 
Okay, make sure every every bit is selected. Okay, make sure every bit is selected. That's a uh, alternate to remove that. And what we're going to do is to flip the normals and Okay, flip the normals and okay now because the other half isn't ex exactly joined look so we have to select okay, as as close as you can the only segments in the middle okay the, the vertices and we will now weld them together Okay, so they're welded together. Sorry, that's supposed to be the front view. Okay, so that's your spaceship. Now let's also attach that the other half. Okay, so you have a very simple spaceship created from a sphere and using by using the edit poly from the modifier list.